we've set the saw at about 13 inches, 14, 13 and a half inches, which will allow us to take a fair bit of material off of here. This is a 15 inch diameter log. We've got about two and a half inches of space down here. We'll end up with a nice eight by eight cant out of this. This first cut's most more critical because we want, when we flip this over 180 degrees for the log to lay flat, we want it to lay flat on the bed rails. So there'll be a minimal amount of material taken off here and here, the bulk of the material taken off here in this defective area. I'm trying to remove that. There's some toady or dead knots here, and we want to find out just how far those go in the log. Uh, this is also the point at which um, we decide if this is a log that's viable for the shop. It might be that as we open this log up, we find ants or we find other defects that tell us to just kick it out as firewood or maybe we need to kick it out as brace stock. It might not be the piece that we want it to be. In general though, we know right now where this piece is going to go in the frame. It's the nice thing about a small hand cut shop like ours. We're able to look at each individual log, pick that log for where it's going to go in the building, reject it or accept it. In some cases, this is where the milling stops. If we want a character piece in the frame, this would be perfect. It's got some nice knot defects, it's solid, it's got some nice bug defects. All we'd really have to do at this point is plane it and put it right into the building as a flitched piece. What we're going to do though is we're going to finish sawing from this point and we're going to make the third and fourth cuts and we're going to make this into a square timber. Well, we finished sawing all four sides of our log and our timbers ended up square. We found that our, our white ash defect, or we found that our defect that we saw initially on the outside face that we tried to remove, it kept going all the way through the log. So out of a 12 foot timber, what we've ended up with is a cant that's eight by 10. We didn't have any boards to take off of it. There wasn't really any grade lumber or anything that we could really get around the circumference of this cant. But we do have an 8x10, 8 feet long, that would meet sound square edge uh, select car stock for NHLA grading rules. So if we needed to grade this timber for a project, it would fall under the kind of structural grading rules that we use typically for our frame components. The last couple feet of this, there isn't really much we can do with it. It's not really even long enough to get brace stock out of unless we were to use some short braces. So in essence, this is really firewood or some other decorative piece. So the last two and a half, three feet of this timber is, is essentially junk. The first eight feet is pretty good. Uh, the bug damage wasn't too bad. We're probably gonna saw this one more time, maybe just to take a little bit of wane off. Right now it's finishing at seven and a half by 10. We could take three eighths off of this top side and eliminate this last little bit of wane before we run it through the Weinig.